Hey everyone, hope everyone had a great week and a great beginning to their weekend. And this would be part two, I guess, of the tell-all series of a many-part uh, documentary uh, where it all began four years ago. For all those people that don't know the backstory, they just uh, are coming on board now thinking it was started with Christopher Mitchell. No, it started with Michael Morgenstern. And we got into a little bit last night. We're going to get into it more. But again, it started with Michael Morgenstern. Then got, got into Christopher Mitchell. Then it got into, and I was I was retired after Michael Morgenstern, but people talked me out of it, uh, retirement to go after Christopher Mitchell, which led me into Brunson FX, and then Jason Sample. So again, we're not we're gonna try to uh, leave no stone unturned, go into complete detail, and you guys are definitely, definitely not gonna want to miss each and every episode, okay? So with that said, let's start off with them some facts. All right, Christopher Mitchell has scammed hundreds of thousands, or all these scammers has scammed hundreds of thousands of dollars and ruined many lives. Morgan Stern threatened harm, even death, to all his victims who threatened to, char to charge back purchases or expose them. This holds especially true for anyone who threatened or actually did expose them, like myself. Samples built the most money out of everyone with his 1.2 or whatever that he was arrested for felony, uh, federal, and then it estimated about $400,000 that he's uh, built from, from people uh, over the years. Then Christopher Mitchell had an estimated 270000 right now. Tens of thousands of lives were flipped upside down. Many will never recover from. Many more lives will be ruined unless people want to say enough, uh, to, is enough to stop it, okay? And again, this started four years ago. So again, I ask people to just think about, just think about the each and every part of this, you know, whether you love me or hate me, okay? So again, let's go over the facts. Over four and a half years, I've got thousands of hours of my time, thousands of hours of my time and my teams invested in stopping scammers who can cross the paths with us. I've got thousands of dollars literally out of my pocket to help with nothing asking in return out of my own pocket to help the cause not once not once have i ever asked for money except offered uh except offered that donations which people wanted to monetize both my youtube channels to make money had i not stayed the course morgan stern sample brunson fx and christopher mitchell would be at least doing a 10 times worse and growing facts I have over 6,200 emails from victims, with witnesses, viewers, fans, etc., etc., in those four and a half years. Many were thanks, appreciation emails. Many were from victims, etc., etc. Many of the scammers I exposed, they and their fan base threatened my family and I's lives. Along, many we're going to get into all this. We're going to show you. Along the way, I also picked up quite a few haters who would either work with the with the scammers, and we're going to go into that or try to hinder my efforts and smear my credibility. Uh, most of them being young kids still wet behind the years in life with no friends in life. Again, this is a four years, you know, people, this is it. This start, this, my channel started out with eight for 80% education, 80% to help people and 20% entertainment. Along the way, unfortunately, got people to uh, think it was 60% entertainment and only 40% uh, empathy or sympathy for these victims, okay? Many people were hurt. You're going to hear many things. Lives were threatened. Women were beaten. Women were date raped. All right? This everything all exposed. And again, this started with Michael Morgenstern. All right? So with that said, now how I first came across Michael Morgenstern was reading about him in a blackjack form. Everybody was in there was clowning on him. Uh, his videos, he was making videos, just like Christopher Mitchell, claiming to be a professional gambler, professional blackjack player, uh, could teach people, could sell them, you know, uh, for a couple hundred bucks, whatever the case may be. I can't remember all the details about what he was selling back then. And then, uh, uh, so I went and watched a couple of the videos, uh, laughed my ass off at what they were talking about. But I, what, what I did notice is uh, his then-girlfriend, Katie, was in quite a few of them. And he actually had her daughter uh, claimed he claimed she was his, but uh, ha actually posted her in a couple of videos. 
and you'll see what this fucking human piece of garbage, uh, what, what he was teaching her on these live streams. But we'll watch a couple of these clips and we'll go uh, continue. You can put that extra in there, we'll split it. You can put that extra in. It's all on the table. Well, she's been playing too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do we have to get a card? Is it like a membership here? It is a membership, but you do get perks on it. Really? Oh, yes. If you I didn't know that. If you and signed up for it, you would get $10 for the free play. Okay. Start out with the promo chip. I didn't know. I thought I was in trouble. No, but you could have earned a whole lot of oh, God. Uh, points for dinners or different things if you would have got Oh, payday. Before. This is for me and my daughter, because she could probably fuck you up more. You ready? Why don't you go first? Do it. Do it. Do you see it? You see it. What's going to happen if somebody messes with me? Mm. Are they going to probably not breathe tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah. You probably, that's probably my, Her birthday's tomorrow. She'll be seven years old. Um, you start playing. Well, my name's Raymond. Okay, hi, Raymond. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Ready? You say this. You got a horse, right? She got a horse. She got everything. She, you know. So as you saw what the fucking scumbag piece of shit was trying to teach her daughter, would you do that on a couple live streams, have her swear. Uh, but this is uh, Katie. And again, uh, what I noticed watching the videos was she was a very down-to-earth girl, uh, very sweet um, during the live streams and stuff like that, uh, questioning why she was even with them, but... Um, so then didn't even left the channel for a month didn't even think twice about it until I found read in that same blackjack form uh, That he had got arrested for beating her uh, Beating her up in front of uh, her own seven-year-old daughter and uh, we'll watch the video that the uh, his form posted So after watching that video and reading the form some more, I found out about three weeks he had gotten out of jail. He was uh, at war. He had gotten kicked out of his own form uh, from people that finally caught on to his bullshit. And uh, he was trying to start the YouTube scam back up again. And I was like, hell no. Not only is he uh, not going to start get up, uh, get away with beating up this girl in front of her own kid, but doing the scams. So that's what started. And it originally started uh, just to troll him. But you'll see here. I did my homework first. This guy has, he's quite the violent fe uh, felon. All right. Well, number one, he was arrested at 17 for armed robbery. Spent eight years in prison. And then uh, you'll see in a lot of his videos, he bragged about uh, it numerous times. He actually used it to his advantage to scare people too. Um, to instill fear on his victims. Uh, the the people that he beat up, the women, most and, and those uh, people that he scammed. Uh, Post-prison prison release, domestic assault in Colorado still has a warrant in that state. Number three, another domestic assault, beating up a woman in Florida. Another domestic assault, beating up another woman in Florida. Number five, the domestic assault, obstruction of justice, bribery for beating up his then-girlfriend Katie in front of her seven-year-old daughter. More arrests and tar charges. Stay tuned. So I'd do already done my homework on this fucking cocksucker, and, uh, was ready, like I said, it just started out uh, ready to be trolled, but then uh, you'll see exactly how it transpired into a much, much bigger uh, story.
Now there's a guy named Dustin McCockoff, real name Kevin Davis, making hate videos about me. Now there's a guy named Dustin McCockoff, real name Kevin Davis, making hate videos about me. Me. We don't hunt him. I mean, we got 27,000 fucking people. Kevin Davis is one person. Let's find him. You understand? Let's find him. Let's find him. Find his mom. Find his fucking sister. I don't give a goddamn at this point. So we're going to listen to that one more time and pay close attention to what he's saying and who's saying it. All right. Again, we already showed you his background. He's a violent criminal, and now he's sick, and he's got 27, he admits he's got 27,000 followers, and he... We don't hunt him. I mean, we got 27,000 fucking people. Kevin Davis is one person. Let's find him. You understand? Let's find him. Let's find him. Find his mom. Find his fucking sister. I don't give a goddamn at this point. Yeah, Kevin Davis, Boynton Beach, Florida. If somebody gives me his address, I'll give you, I know the address is there. I want his real number. Somebody give me his shit, his real shit. Give me his mother's number. Let me chase, let him let him call me back from a real number. You understand? Let's drive his family. So again, in a separate live stream, you'll see him calling upon his 27 followers again. Hunt me down. Try to find my mom. Try to find me. Try to find my location. Try to find my sister. Harass him. All right. And then he, at the very end, he says for me to call in from a number, okay, which watch, you'll see what I do. Yeah, Kevin Davis, Boynton Beach, Florida. If somebody gives me his address, I'll give you. I know the address is there. I want his real number. Somebody give me his shit, his real shit. Give me his mother's number. Let me chase, let him let him call me back from a real number. You understand? Let's drive his family nuts. He's fucking with the wrong people. Blackjack Army. Here he is. He's calling right now. What's up, Kevin Davis? Little man, you better. What's you better up, bitch? We got your address now. Are Just you gonna talk? Are you gonna enough. talk over me, bitch? Blah, blah, blah. All right, I got something in my teeth. I got something in my teeth. Let me get something. You're gonna hang up like you usually do, cause you're a bitch. You're a coward. Go ahead. I'm a bitch and I'm a coward. Yeah, there's homeless people that are now. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you a question? Can I? Can I hear you? Can you stop for a minute? First of all, bitch. Can you stop for a minute? Can you stop? 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 Can you Okay, well, the FTC is going to bust your ass for internet fraud because what you're doing is, is a scam, you're fraudulent, you're okay. ripping off people, okay. and the very few believe, the very few idiots that, that All right, you've already believe typed you this shit. are going to find out. Okay. Oh, uh, here we go, here we go. You're gonna hang let up me know when I can talk. Like let me, t let, okay. okay. Have you ever had a homeless FTC, man? You, you fucking, not, you know what a, you shut up, bitch, I'll fucking murder you, bitch. You understand? I'll fucking end you. Who are you? Blah blah, motherfucker. Bitch. Okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna hang up. But can I have a chance to talk? Can I have a chance? Can I have a chance? Can I have a chance? See you. I'm not gonna do shit, bitch. Then you don't know who the fuck I am. Nope. I'm a little boy. Okay. I'm a little boy. Okay. Can this little boy? Can this little boy talk? Can I, all these people's can, I, can I talk? Can I talk? Can can you stop for a minute? Can you stop for two seconds? Can I get fucking five seconds? Can I get five seconds? I, all I'm asking you, out of respect, out of respect, you stupid bitch. Can I get five motherfucking seconds? Don't beat on. Don't beat on. This is what you're saying, bitch. When I find you, dog. When I find you, and I will, I got $5,000 for his information. And that's no bullshit. $5,000. I'll, I'll throw it all away. I want his information. I want his fucking information. And I'm going to wear the spy glasses. It'll be probably my last stream. Because he's in Florida. But y'all better send me commissary money. $5,000 for that bitch's fucking number. For his address, the real one, I want a shit, and that's no bullshit, man. I want it. Five G's. That's what you're worth right now, Kevin Davis. And I'll take it from there. I want Kevin Davis. Go on Facebook. Look up Kevin Davis. I'd like to meet him.
I want to meet him. I want to fucking meet him, man. I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of him. I don't know what his goddamn fucking issue is, whether he gets off on it. You understand? I want his information. I want his information. We'll put the IP address down. I know I got a lot of hackers out there. I want everything. I want the fucking address. This is my hater. That's the IP address. Give me everything on this fucking IP address, and I'll reward you. So after watching multiple live streams where he's putting the hunt down for his followers to find me, harass my mom, harass my sister, do whatever it takes, that uh, I called in, he wanted me to call in, which I did. And you, as you guys all heard, called him out for what he was doing, internet fraud, going to bust his ass, yada, yada, yada. And at the very end, he puts out $5,000 on a viral video that stayed up for a long time on the live stream to find me, my family, whatever it takes to find my information. All right. So first of all, everyone that knows me, you don't fuck with my family, okay? The minute you fucking fuck with my family, that's it. Game on, all right? And you don't get away with fucking threatening my family. And it gets worse. Like I said, the story, this is going to be a long video, but again, this is going to be multiple parts. You don't get away with fucking with my family, okay? So that's when I knew it was on. The war was on, but I still had to follow through with helping expose them to get him off internet and to help these people and victims, which a lot again transpired all right this this became a lot more bigger you know like i said fbi cases date rapes all kinds of shit's going to come out and you guys are not going to want to miss the video so this next clip you're going to listen to this phone call that uh one of the victims made from mike's form that got ripped off and uh the people that helped him bail him out and mike promised to get the money back and uh we'll just go from there what's listen up, to this what's up, what's up man Holy nice, shit, what, shit, what happened to your live stream? Are you being facetious? Are you being a fucking asshole? I'm at work on my phone watching it, and then it goes off, and I'm okay. asking a question, man. That's all. all right, no, I'm, not no, somebody... a, I'm not a hater, dude. I mean, you and I have a little problem, but I'm not a hater. I mean, if it we don't have a problem. Well, no one, no one. Number one, I didn't even know, know who the fuck helped me out when I was in jail. Right. And you can understand. Yes, okay. I, can, I can kind of understand that because I don't know Salty, so all I know is what I hear from him. So I yeah. thought me. you were fully informed of what was going on. Oh, man, I was informed of shit, and my store got ran down to the ground, and all kinds of shit happened when I was in jail. You understand? Uh, and I, can... I got you. I got you. So... Well, and I mean, it, it's not even me. I mean, personally, I was told not to send my five hundred dollars in because they said they had enough money. But it's yeah. my youngest you know, son's best friend that I trained because of you that he donated. So that's the only reason. And, no, but Marsh, I didn't know who said what when I was in jail. Salty fucked me over. I'm in a bad fucking place right now because number one, I got fucked over. You know, and it's like between me and you and then all this shit with Steve-O, I don't know Steve-O, you know what I mean? I'd like to meet you in person because you're, 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 you know what I mean? But goddamn, all these other people getting in our business, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I've signed up for the forum on February 16th is when well, I, I, know, when I, know, I got into this. I know who you this. are. I, I talked to you live before. Okay. Yes. So that's not the point. But all these bitch-ass motherfuckers. And you're sending me emails from Plumber. I don't know a goddamn Plumber. You know I thought saying? I changed that to Marsh Rat. No, I didn't. No, it says Plumber, man. Yeah, I but, saw that when you sent it back to me. But, Marsh, I got you, and I just called Steve-O. Steve-O needs to stay the fuck out of my business. If Steve-O wants to fight, I'll fight him fucking, but it ain't going to be in a ring. It's going to be on a backwoods, because I'll probably kill that motherfucker, to be honest with you. You know? <laughs> so. Well, I, the only reason everyone wants to fight is because just everyone's fucking cramping up about the money, you know? What the, money? What money? The, Making the, a dollar off a product? And, no, and no. Coffee. No, not that money. The damn bail money. I personally... The bail money ain't shit. I put up most of the money in my... Because that's all he could access. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, see, I, mean, I don't it, know 100%. I know quite a bit, but I don't know anything that you and Salty ever talked about or... I should have been I should have been out of jail within fucking twenty four hours. You understand what I'm telling you? I got I sat in there for thirty days for nothing. 
Well, know? that's because it was hard to come up with the money on our part. You, there was only no, like but four it people. Been, Monstrat, it should have been your part from the beginning. You understand? Should have or shouldn't have. That's it, man. But look, I'm gonna call you in a minute. My, I, 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 I'm just irritated. I love you, man. You're a fucking good dude. Do you understand? I'm just been. And uh, is there any way you can get to Biloxi this weekend? Oh man, that's far. Where are you at, Mars? I'm in Friendswood, Texas, down by Galveston. I'm two I'll hours probably, from uh, the I'm two hours from the Golden Nugget in Louis in Lake Charles. That's what I was going to say. Okay, maybe we'll meet at Lake Charles. I'm going to call you back, man. Just have patience with me, all right? Because I'm in a bad place right now. I got fucked over. You understand? You, you got it, man. You call me back. I got you. Mark, I hear you. I'm going to be honest with you. My ex stole over $200,000 cash from me, okay? So, and, and, and it, I, I'm in a bad place, man. You understand? I hear you. So, you, you. You got my number, so. I got you, man. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not dodging you and shit. But I'm going to call you. I love you, man. You hear me? Let's do, let's do this shit. So this next clip, you're going to see it's a private video. It's forum made uh, that they're talking and uh, conversing. One of them's uh, known in the blackjack community, Ryan Way. He's scolding, scolding these people. Like, what are they doing? How'd they fall for this shit? But this next, the next phone call after that, that uh, you, Mike has with the guy named Sparrow, uh, also known as Dustin, it's going to play a huge part going forward, and you're going to see a bunch of clips what Mike does to this person. He actually thinks this person is me because I was my alias was Dustin McCockoff, and his name was Dustin. So again, it's similar to Christopher thinking I was Lee Bradbury. The same thing went with this, and uh, but it was a lot worse what Michael did to this person. So let's listen to these clips. out to be someone who he's not so he can sell shit and then you guys are t thinking that that's not wrong i mean he's pawning himself off as this expert blackjack player but we all know that he's not though and so because of that because people think he's an expert of course they're gonna buy the stupid merchandise that he has for sale of course they're gonna fucking buy the stupid fucking you know hoodie of course they're gonna buy the overpriced piece of shit book that he's got for sale and then he's gonna make a dime off of it and so what maybe he doesn't make that much money off of it i think if he makes a nickel off of it he's made a nickel too much because he is not a blackjack player he's not an, an, an ap he is a con artist and maybe he wasn't that successful at you know you know maybe you know it didn't bring a whole lot of financial success but the point is he only reason the discord got as big as it did and the only reason why he had any kind of sales and the only reason why anyone bought his book and the only reason why anyone has participated in this whole thing is because they believed Mike was an expert. But he's not. He's far from it. He'll never be an expert. He just doesn't know. I mean, it's just not going to happen. And anyone who studies this game long enough will eventually realize that he is full of shit. That he's full of shit. If they haven't already realized it by now. And I'm... This is Sparrow. I'm here. What's up, What's up, man? Hey, what's with that book, man? I mean, that's that's kind of fucked up. That's the worst card-counting book I've ever seen. It's a basic. It's a basic survival guide. I told everybody it says basic. Can you stop a track? Can you sit at a table and fuck in? No. Yes or no? No, I can't, but that didn't teach me how to shuffle track. And it does, you remember every card. See, the basic, and I told people that, I told them in advance book coming out after this. That's basic survival, like how to make a fire. You know, I hate it. Let me ask you a question. This is Sparrow, right? Because I recognize your voice. Sparrow? Yeah. Yes. Yes. When you sit at a table, and you got a ploppy sitting there with you, right? And they're not hitting shit, they're not fucking Does that piss you off, yes or no? Really? No. Real talk, no. I I play with ploppies all day. None of them know basic strategy. I still make money. Yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, I was just playing with you. So, I mean, he, 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 there's no fluff. I can put out 300 page book with all the same information here with 30 pages. Fine. 
know, and I told everybody that this this one's going to be out, and, and it's going to be the rule knowledge. This is how you play blackjack. This is what you should do. This is how you're going to make money. And I'm sure you said you make money, right? Yeah, uh, I'm break even right now. You what? I'm break even right now. Well, that doesn't matter, but at least they don't have your money. But my point is, if you mastered everything in the basic, you know, in, in the survival guide, you're going to break even or make money, correct? You just need your own no. Yes, uh, no. That's, no, because we ran your, the bet spread is totally incorrect. I mean, maybe if you're a wonging, it would, but the book mentioned nothing about wonging. But but you actually I, lose I 33 cents per hour. What's that? That so book is, is, is like Wikipedia uh, definitions. Uh, the videos, that's my way of playing. If I jump on a table, I will. And haven't I said this before? You understand? Yes, I understand that. But I'm talking about the book. The book is not a survival guide. That's like a guaranteed way to lose money. Listen, if you're not wrong, you lose the money because there's no guarantee that you'll ever go up. You can always be negative one plus one, negative one plus one. I'm not there. So for why, why yeah. wouldn't it be in the survival guide if it's necessary? That, that it is in there. It talks about that. No, there's no wronging in that. There's no wrong in it. It doesn't talk about the, the, the true counts and counts and, and, and whatnot. It talks about the counts, yes. No, it doesn't talk about longing in the yeah. book at all. The book, uh, do you really think that book is a good book? Like, it's Wikipedia definitions, man. It's just, just definitions of things. Like, that book is nothing compared to any other book. Listen, you can buy... I said, where are you right now? Um, I'm at work. You're at work. That's the difference between me and you. So the book, you wouldn't be at work. You wouldn't be breaking in. Can't self track telling me that my shit is bullshit, but sure it works. Yet I get text messages from people that actually follow the book, and they're not at work. I got, what was it, seven people since I got out and quit the jobs, and up 48, one guy's up 48,000, the other one's 12,000. Guys, I mean, I love these issues, people. It's just a call that shit, bro. No, that has. Look, there's like a lot of people that want to the rest money. A survival channel? We were on the Discovery Channel together. Again, watch what happens now because again all this guy Sparrow Dustin there was complaining about the book Mike was selling and because my nickname on my videos were Dustin McCockoff Mike thought it was put two and two together thought we were the same person obviously I don't sound like Sparrow and he doesn't sound like me but again it was very similar to Christopher Mitchell thinking I was Lee Bradbury but this watch what happens watch the assault that Michael did on this guy and this is just a few clips. We have a lot more to go in the next part, all right? But it's getting too long right now. But again, watch these clips because watch the assault. And again, this will lead into the segue of, I told you, a lot bigger things to come. Hello everybody, I'm Sparrow Hawk from the Advantage Players. All behind, real niggas all around me, bitch niggas ain't around me.
write my number. Because I got somebody named Sam. And Sam, let me tell you something. Sam has something planned for a bird. Don't do it, man. He somehow got a bird's whole family schedule. And he's going to rip the shingles off their house while they're not home. I got some sick, psychotic, felon motherfuckers that like, I don't care. I really don't give a fuck. And I'm like, don't do it. And they're like, Mike, I don't give a fuck, dog. I love you. I got to go. And I'm like, man, you ripped the shingles off their house. That's like, you know what I mean? Six to $9,000, depending on the size of the roof, that they have to get their shingles replaced. I don't know their name. But somebody out there's got them, and they are at war with these bitches because they stole our, not mine, our Discord. And they're following a guy from France who won't put his real name to anyone, right? Isn't that kind of sick? And you know what? Who's Sparrow? We got a whole report on your ass. Bitch. No name, no gimmicks. We don't put on. Hold up, I got something for Sparrow. Hold up. Real talk, this is Sparrow. One of the first haters, right? This one, hold up now, Chicago's calm. This is Sparrow right here, right? Hi guys, my name is Sparrow, and I'm here to help you. And it's in my first video, I'm gonna take a drink, and I'm gonna. Ch -ch 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 fuck you! This is my face, bitch. What you wanna do, baby? What you wanna do, huh? You gonna hate on me? Hate on my motherfucking team, bitch? Take your mask off. I will pull it off for you, motherfucker. That's real. We ain't wearing masks. It's Blackjack Army. And my name is Michael, motherfucking Kenneth Morgan's son. Sparrow, I know you're watching, right? You you and Johnny Carter and somebody in Reno, I'm not going to mention, because shit's about to happen, that motherfucker. He's about to win the lottery. Sparrow, your face should end up in two pieces, bro. I'm just saying, you're fucking with a fucking real motherfucker right now, baby. And they got, and I'm trying to hold the army off, but they're coming after you because they know you're fake as shit, bitch. You and Johnny Carter should be spooning. You should be playing butt pirates of the Caribbean. Not that I got a problem if you fucking, if it's a man you're seeing. But don't fucking come at me, motherfucker. Straight out of jail, you gonna come at me and fucking disrespect me, man? Let me tell you something, baby. Woo, you can't handle that motherfucker. He, more gangsters back. We're gonna do it. Like I said, that criminal assault was allowed to happen on YouTube. A lot of you guys are wondering, why does this happen? Why does YouTube? What you guys just saw was just a fraction because it gets a lot worse. A lot worse. The assault that he did on Dustin thinking it was me. So again, this is exactly what I've been trying to tell you guys. Love me or hate me. I saw through this and I saw through to continue to knock him and get him off the YouTube as well as venge my, the family death threats against me. The story gets a lot worse. I keep, I'm going to tell you guys, I can't, I can't emphasize this enough. It's going to get a lot worse, and you guys are not going to want to miss it. Again, we're going to tell all to where it stands exactly today because the threats are still coming, and we know by who. Have a great weekend, everyone, and stay tuned for the next one.